Hello, I wanted to tell you about an upcoming training session that I think might be interesting for you. You're probably wondering what the future holds and things are changing fast and competition is continuously growing and things are happening in the world. You need to innovate. If you're not innovating, you soon will lose the battle. You will start falling out behind your competitors. You will start not being able to do what you were hoping to do. Of course, there are many reasons why team members don't innovate and don't really want to do all this stuff. I mean, it's, it's risk and I'm not sure this is really how I want to be seen. We need to be able to, you need to be able to identify, to create an atmosphere, a culture that promotes creativity and innovation. This means getting people to think, to try, to make mistakes, and to do all that without reducing day-to-day -day productivity. Within this interactive workshop, we will be talking about a variety of concepts and topics, starting with understanding what culture actually is, why it is critical, all the way to establishing a strategy and a plan to move forwards in a culture that will support you. We will talk about the fact that culture is an infinite number of relationships and links and communication channels. It is not just something that is a habit, the way things were done. It's a lot more than that. And in order to change that, you need to be very careful. You need to understand what is needed to make the change. We'll talk about that. And we'll talk about how you go about implementing this. I will give you some suggestions on how you to identify the weaknesses within your organizations, the things that are stopping people from being more productive, and also identifying who are the people that are particularly productive and on whom you should be concentrating your possibilities, concentrating your focus, your attentions. Of course, I'm going to talk about what is design, what it actually means, how it is related between what you do, what you communicate, how you get things in place to make something happen, how your communication has to be aligned, how all the different aspects of communication have to be aligned and consistent, coherent and continuous. We'll consider what are the actual cultural things that are necessary within your own organization. What are the things that are most important and what are the things that you want to try and get rid of? All participants within this workshop will receive an electronic copy of my booklet Vitruvian Quality in which I explain how your documentation supports your culture and supports your productivity, your efficiency. This goes through all the different types of communication you put in place and is based on the fundamentals of quality that were identified by Vitruvius some 2000 years ago and have been proven again and again to be critically important and valid whatever the context. I hope you can join us. The um, session is going to be on the 7th of October at 9.30 C Central European time. That's 8.30 in the UK, 10.30 in Eastern Europe, 1 o'clock in the afternoon in India. For the brave ones, 8.30 in the morning at the East Coast United States. Of course, if there are enough people who would like a repeat at a later time, please contact me and I will do a second session at a later time for our American friends and make sure that they can catch on and follow with us. I hope you can join us. I look forward to um, seeing you. I look forward to helping you, to talking with you. I remind you that this is a fully interactive workshop. This is not a webinar where you're just going to sit and listen. 
you're going to talk, you're going to ask questions, we're going to have dialogue, and I'm going to try to get things in place so that you can truly benefit from this.